Splice here is a full-service post-production company. We work as departments, so we have uh, edit focus, design focus, audio focus, clients and creatives that come in, trust us as artists and trust the tools that we choose. And for the most part, it, it comes down to having the right tool for the right job, whether it's operator preference or you know mixing it up for a job. The Minneapolis market has uh, agencies and a lot of strong corporate clients, so we sort of cross a lot of uh, a lot of different styles of work, from from broadcast documentary to TV commercial to music video to in-store networks to uh, whatever. We have um, an Apple XN at the core of everything we do, and we're able to uh, work concurrently on projects uh, with uh, one set of media on the drives, and we have multiple workstations and multiple artists. A typical project comes into Splice here as raw camera data or on camera raw tapes. Everything is a digital piece of media or data for, to us, and that, that data is easily managed with our workflow that we can just pass it from room to room, operator to operator, or system to system. With our current workflow, you know, Final Cut works for us, After Effects works for us, but it's always looking for a third-party tool to enhance what those tools already do. We have Shake, we have After Effects and Photoshop and Illustrator and all the basic Adobe package. Uh, we have um, Cinema 4D, Mocha, and all these other little pieces. One of the challenges with using multiple applications to achieve your job is actually having to know the state of multiple applications. And after a while, it's, it's, it's too hard to keep up. You know, I think it would be nice to be able to start a project, maybe in Final Cut, once the cut's been locked, to be able to finish the whole job in, in one application. It would just speed the process up, you know, drastically, and uh, it'd be nice to not have to jump around from all these different applications all the time. We don't natively use Final Cut Pro's key. We have four different plugins that do chroma keying, or uh, we, we've implemented color finishing because color correction in Final Cut Pro just didn't take things to the level we were expecting to give our clients. When I first heard Smoke was coming to the Mac, my first impression was excitement. My second was finally. When I saw that splash screen come up on a Mac, I remember my fire days and, and what's possible, and I'm totally jazzed about it. I think having Smoke on a Mac here will allow us to rethink how we finish. That we'll, we'll go through a project We'll probably go back to a more traditional offline, online work model and be able to finish at a higher, at a higher level than we've been doing. I think Smoke is a huge addition to our workflow in the sense that the tools Smoke brings to the process for us enhance what we do. It doesn't replace it. The things I really like about it is, is that it is so deep and that there's so many different ways to do stuff and the 3D workspace because we do a lot of stuff where we do composite 3D into 2D elements and. And it's just, it'll be nice to not have to work in like two and a half D and actually do it for real, you know, and do it really well. Smoke's integration into our workflow is seamless because we can simply import a, an edit decision list and it uses the QuickTime media we've already created during offline as its source media for finishing. The tools we've always really wanted are finally available to us in our current workflow that works for us and works for our clients. I mean, that's why Smoke is actually going to be interesting, whether it's integrating 3D with it or whether it's um, just better keys all around. Whatever it is, it's, you know, it is going to be all in one box and streamline that online process and allow us to do it as good or even better than we've been doing it for a while. The price makes it more accessible. Um, having it on Mac just makes it a no-brainer to integrate it into an already Mac world. It just all the, the barriers are just sort of gone. The interesting challenge will be if we only have a single smoke that we're so used to collaborating and, and we've gotten so good at sort of breaking a project so we can get more done with more artists, we won't it won't work with just one. We'll need multiple seats of smoke.